Have you ever experienced that when you're around someone else, you tend to absorb their emotions in your body? Do large crowds, like being at weddings or maybe at schools or even traveling, does it emotionally and energetically drain you? Do loud noises and bright lights and certain smells overstimulate you and make you feel chaotic? You might be an energetically sensitive soul. And what if I told you that your sensitivity is one of your greatest gifts? If you believe that you might be an empath, this Thagel TV episode is for you. Welcome to Thagel TV. I'm Thagel V. Patel. I'm a former divorce attorney turned mindfulness advocate for moms and kids. I am the founder of the online training program, The Mindful Mama Experience, and this is the place where I inspire you to create the mom life of your dreams. If you were ever told that you were too sensitive when you were younger, that you needed to grow a thick skin, or you felt things too deeply, you might be an empath. For as long as I can remember, I've been called an empath because I could feel other people's emotions in my body, especially my parents. And it would feel when they felt uncomfortable or chaotic or stressed, I felt it in my body. You know, till this day, I didn't realize that I can't be around large groups without feeling drained and overwhelmed. I need to feel grounded. I needed to own that I needed some space. And I felt like that was my weakness. You know, sensitivity is not a weakness. It just requires us to know how to manage our energy, how to set proper boundaries, and recognize when we need our own personal time to recenter, regroup, and feel rebalanced. So today I want to share three really powerful balancing tools that will help you if you're an empath. So say you absorb energy of others and you're at this function and you're talking to someone and all of a sudden you feel drained. If you're uncertain if it's your own energy or if you're picking up some funky vibes from someone else, get yourself at least 20 feet away from the person because you see... It's not just our bodies being separated. We have an aura and an energy field. And if you enter into someone's energy field or they enter into yours, you'll start feeling their shit. So get yourself away from them. Give yourself at least 20 feet and then tune into how you're feeling. Say, do I still feel drained? Do I still feel low vibe? And a lot of times if it was their funky energy in your energy space, then you know that, you know what? We're not necessarily aligned at this moment and they might be vampires that are going to suck your energy down. So you can nicely, not in a superior complex way, but you can nicely just kind of keep your distance from that person. And it's not that they're always going to be like that. They might be going through something funky at that time. Everybody's energy changes at a day to day, moment to moment, and thought to talk thought basis. So just because you might not be jiving with them right now, doesn't mean that you'll always not be jiving with them. Number two, say you're in front of someone and they're just talking too much or you feel overwhelmed by the conversation or the topic is just too negative. When I feel overwhelmed by other people's energies, I take bathroom breaks. I swear to God, people probably think I got bathroom problems because sometimes I'm going numerous times. Nobody can ever question you that you need to go to the bathroom. And when I go to the bathroom, I ground myself. I make sure that I wash my hands. And for me, I like to take deep breaths breaths in, I'll wipe off the energy that I might have picked up from other people, like symbolically. And for me, I like pressing on this pressure point right underneath uh, my eyes on my cheekbones. This meridian point or energy center is connected with grounding you to your feet. It grounds you to your body. So what I try to do is I do that. And as I take a deep breath in, I envision it coming in through my feet. And when I exhale, I envision it coming out of my head. So it lets me feel more centered. So take as many bathroom breaks as you need just to get yourself grounded, get some space and get some air away from the crowd. And the third thing that I do is I make sure that if I'm going to be around a lot of different energies, I'm drinking a lot of water. I'm drinking a lot of water and if I can, I try to get out and have some natural sunlight or step outside and just get a fresh breath air because that's going to be crucial to feel recentered and safe in your body. But 
This might kind of be a shocker. When you're in big groups and you feel like you're absorbing and you're sensitive to energy, alcohol is probably one of the worst things you can drink. It puts your guard down and you're opening yourself up to the sensitivity and the other funky energies. You're basically being like, come to me, I'm this open, beautiful light of sensitive energy and people will flock to you and not the right people that you want to flock to. So try to avoid as much alcohol as you can when you're in big groups um, and try to drink as much water to flush out any sort of negative energies that doesn't serve your highest good. There you have it. Those are three really powerful tools to help you stay grounded, safe, and keep safe boundaries if you're an energetically sensitive soul. Now, I wanna hear from you. If you feel drained and depleted when you're in large social settings, what do you do to stay grounded and balanced? I'd love to know any of your techniques that you use, or if you're gonna try out and you test out the ones that I share, let me know how they work for you. The most important conversations happen after the blog, so certainly head over to thejalvpatel.com, join in the conversation, and answer that question. Did you love this video? If you did, certainly subscribe to my channel, share this video with all your mama besties who might be sensitive souls just like you, and make sure you sign up for my exclusive newsletter at thejalvpatel.com. You'll get personal insights, my weekly newsletter sent directly to your inbox, and when you sign up, I'll give you a free gift to help you jumpstart your journey to be a more peaceful mama. Thank you so much for watching this Thajal TV episode. I'll check you on the next episode. Thank you.